Hello and welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. I'm Dana Cowley, your host for today's segment, and my guest is Kennewick City Councilman John Trumbo. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you, Dana. I appreciate the opportunity to be here. You're interested in the city expanding its industrial businesses. I have been since I was elected. It was one of my main concerns, and that was uh, several years ago. So I would like to just remind you and the viewers that Kennewick is largely um, based on retail sales tax revenue. Oh, yeah. And um, we have property tax as well, but one of the things we're missing in our property tax base is the industrial growth that is essential to establish uh, a good mix of property tax revenue. Uh, Kennewick has only 176 acres. It sounds like a lot of land for industrial growth, but only 17 of those acres are available is a large parcel. The rest of those acres are much smaller and hard to develop for industrial growth. Well, an industry usually needs some size. That's correct. We need more land than what we have in these small parcels. We've been looking at getting 1,300 acres, which is south of I-82, brought into the Kennewick uh, expansion area so that we can have that industrial growth land that we could move into. We've had some trouble getting that through uh, the political processes, and um, but we continue to work on that, and we hope that we will be successful in the years to come, that is, in the next couple of years. We're working on our general or our comprehensive plan now, updating it, and that in part is to help bring in that concept of expanding into those 1,300 acres. Well, if you can build up and diversify by adding some industry, that reduces the necessity of perhaps raising your sales tax. It, it just spreads the, the, the tax base broader so that we don't have to do incremental increases in sales tax, for example, which Kennewick has done once and now you know, we're looking at maybe doing it again. It also reduces the need for having special revenue mechanisms um, such as mitigation fees and impact fees. If we can continue to get that uh, broader property tax base that would include industrial growth. What kind of industries would you like to see come in? Oh, you know, everybody says clean industry. They've been saying that for decades. So what's clean industry? Well, it, it can be information management. Uh, but I don't think that, quote, unclean industry is necessarily undesirable. It just has to be properly um, uh, designed and the infrastructure needs to be there to, to handle it. For example, uh, we have in Kennewick the, um, the Wine Village project on Columbia Drive that the port is working on with yeah. the city as a big he helper. Um, that project is a good project, but it does create a fair amount of waste that is wine processing. It requires that you have to remove some of the um, materials that are used to make the wine. And, and dispose of it, and we want to be able to do that efficiently. So to do that, we've had to design, or we are designing a facility that will pre-treat it prior to the waste going into the city's um, water treatment plant. Well, the nice thing with that too is we've grown the wine industry in this state tremendously with uh, little economic and uh, environmental impact, and so you don't have to reinvent that wheel. You just need to look around and see how other people are doing it successfully, well, I, and that's helpful. I'm not an expert on <laughs> in any of these technologies that are related to the wine industry, but I do know that uh, our public works director uh, was very much involved in trying to come up with a mechanism that would be efficient and cost-effective so that our city treatment plant would not be burdened with too much of this uh, affluent that is hard to handle. And the city is also creating a diversity group. We have, uh, I'll just explain a little bit, the city of Kennewick has many ways for the public to engage the city. You can come to the council meetings, all the commission meetings, and there are a lot of commissions, everything from the block grant advisory committee to the planning commission. There's a host of things, the fire pension board. There's a number of things where the city is welcome to be um, participating by coming to watch and ask questions in certain settings. Our newest one is the Diversity Commission, which was formed uh, by the council, formally approved, I think, uh, just about a week ago. And the commission has not yet had its first meeting, but it will be soon, and the public is invited to attend those. What should... will the diversity group do? 
What will they do? Um, well, I am um, not directly involved in how that's going to be laid out, but there is a, a path forward that will allow the commission to uh, discuss issues and make suggestions, recommendations on how to how the city can open its doors to more diversity in city government. Um, that that's the plan, at least, John, as best I you. understand it. Thank you for taking your time and to tell us the update on what the city is. This is our Kennewick City Councilman, John Trumbo. I'm Dana Cowley, and thank you for watching Charter at Local Edition Northwest. Thank you.